So we'll uh, we'll roll on from there. ACC Network game. And, brother, it, it, before the season, if I had told you that Miami at North Carolina was going to be on the ACC Network instead of a major network, I, I think both of us might have thought the other one was crazy. I mean, it, it, this it, the fact that this is a 3.30 p.m. game Eastern time on the ACC Network and was chosen, the BYU-Baylor game and Pitt-Virginia Tech were both chosen for the major networks over to this one, it surprised me. Absolutely surprised me. North Carolina is a seven and a half point favorite, total of 63. My line on this was actually North Carolina minus six, but there is no consistency with either one of these teams. It, it, there is nothing that could happen in this game that would surprise me because I don't know what to expect out of either team at, at any point. Uh, this is, I, I will tell you this, Miami's advanced stats absolutely suck. This team is awful. Absolutely awful. And now I got to wonder if Diaz has lost the locker room. And did you see this mess about him accidentally tweeting that Derek King has opted out for the season? Like, and, and the locker room was apparently really pissed off about this. At Tyler Van Dyke is going to be the quarterback going forward, but the players are mad because he, he, and he deleted the tweet and went back and said that, you know, Derek's hurt. Uh, so he's not going to be able to play the rest of the year. But, this was a strange situation. What, what do you think about this one? Well, I mean, I think he's a dead man walking. I don't think he's any different than Ed Orgeron. He's just not in a school that's nearly as, as big or as, as famous right now because they haven't done anything relevant in the last 25 years. Is that, they came in, you know, he, his second year, he brought in Rhett Lashley, and it seemed like they had some things moving in the right direction uh, when they brought in Derek King. I mean, they went 8-3 and three last year, returned over 90% of their returning production, and... I I just it, it's not that I didn't see Miami, you know, not being a great football team. I obviously you could expect that. I did not see them being this awful. I mean, they every single number you can think of, they are terrible. I'm going to take North Carolina minus the seven and a half. Uh but I I mean would it shock you if North Carolina didn't show up in this spot either? No, I mean yeah, at some point in time, yeah. I, I think they're too well coached. At some point in time, they gotta just stop having these letdowns. I admit that my, I don't see Miami as that big of a disappointment because I don't know how great I thought they were before the season started. But this North Carolina team is a massive disappointment. Just, just don't know that it get much better than or worse than what they've given us. Now you're you're a hundred percent right there. Hundred percent right. Uh, moving on, we got another ACC tilt to hit on. Three thirty p.m. ESPN2, Pitt at Virginia Tech. Uh, Virginia Tech is a five-point underdog at home, total of 56. And this, of course, one week after they gave up a uh, an eight-point lead in the final, what, four minutes of that game against Notre Dame? I mean, just lost in heartbreaking fashion. And, and now, of course, they're an underdog at home. I think this is kind of a must-win for Virginia Tech. The Virginia Tech offense is the weakest unit on the field between both of these teams. Uh, Virginia Tech is number six in EPA per pass defense. Pitt is number six in EPA per pass offense. So that's a, you know, strength on strength here. I, this might be a, a touch of bias, but I think Virginia Tech is going to be able to hang in this game at least a little bit. I don't know that they can win the game. I, I take that back. They can win the game. I don't know that I expect them to win the game. But this feels like a field goal game one way or another, and the fact that this line is up at five, I, I just I don't buy it. I'm going to take Virginia Tech plus the five here uh, because I think that their defense is going to hang them in this game for, for a little while. This is the hardest one that I had to pick. Everything, all the logic in the world tells me to take Pitt, but then the, the gambler in me says take the home team, catch some points. And, and, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to take the home team catching points. I I think it's the smart play here. Pat Narduzzi, as much as that offense has changed to where they just, they cannot run the ball, he still finds a way to to get into the mud in some of these games, and and he would be happy to get out of here with a one, two, three point victory. So I I don't think he's going to be trying to take a ton of risks or anything like that against this hokey defense. So I am. 
I am absolutely rolling with Virginia Tech plus five, and, and you're going to do the same. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.